Welcome to today's guide. This is going to be about the dual blades. Dual slicers, match slicers, match blades, whatever you want to call them. They've gone by a few different names up through the different games. That's what today's tutorial or guide is going to be about. So there's a little thing, uh, the special thing about the dual, play, dual blades is that they have what's called a demon mode. That can be activated while they're drawn or when they're sheathed by using right trigger 2. So even if we put them away, we can still draw and activate while using right trigger 2. That's my suggestion. Uh, my suggestion is to just hit right trigger 2, don't bother drawing your weapon and then doing it because that takes more time and why bother. So on screen you see it has a normal move pool that it tells you about but there are a few other combinations that it has that it does not tell you about and I don't think the hunt guide does either so we can we can check them. Uh, weapon controls okay so it gives you some of them but it doesn't give you all of the combos only gives you a few which is basic oh no it does okay um, okay so this one gives you the extra one if you go into hunt guide uh, but you can only look at it then you have to close it all right so <clears throat> we can start off with our basic combo no demon mode which is why 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 that's your basic combo there and then when in demon mode it recommends Y Y Y Y B. So Y Y Y. And that's all it does. Now there are better combos. Um, one of them you can use while you're outside of demon mode. And then the other is while you can use while you're in demon mode. that's three B's there. Now demon mode does suck your stamina so keep that in mind. Now once, you're, once your demon gauge is full you can disable it and use your attacks as if you were in demon mode. So there's that. So what you really want to do is activate demon mode, charge it up, and then as soon as it's full, deactivate it, and then use all of your demonic power. Now it takes a bit to get rid of that stuff. So you'll have it for quite a while. Now that attack, um, that, that one I just did there, you won't be able to interrupt it. So use it when the monster is staggered, when it's out of stamina, when it's flinched, knocked over, that kind of thing. That's the best time to use it. Now there are other things that you can do. There's the combos with evade shot. Requires some slingo, sling, slingo, slinger ammo, which I have there. So you can Y left trigger and then B. So Y. Okay, didn't want to do it. Come on. There it is. And that uses one of your ammunitions. But what's also cool is that you can use your clutch claw while your weapons are drawn. So you're going along, you're fighting, you need to get up on the monster, you do that, and then you bomb them. Hi cat. No kitty. Not right now. Go on. Alright, so now we're going to go fight a great Jagras to <clears throat> show you a little how of we evade the monster while we're fighting because with these weapons you have to be close up and there are certain areas that for the most part are generally safe to stand 
regardless of the monster. Now, if you're fighting faster monsters like uh, Nargakuga, Zenogre, those kinds of things, this may not work, and you might have to find another place to beat them up at. But we'll go up here. We'll get ourselves some food because we want the bus from it. And then we'll launch an attack on Great Jagras. So we'll just eat this one because this gives us the most health and stamina. And stamina is something that you want. Uh, feline Riser is good too. But uh, being as the entire, uh, the entire weapons thing uses stamina, uh, you'll want a lot of stamina. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. We want to go here. We want to get this and we want to go kill Jagras. Dooby dooby doo. There we are. Depart. Yes. Uh, now I've got some fancy weapons and armor, but this is pretty much going to be the thing with these weapons. It doesn't matter how much you upgrade them. Uh, the thing about these weapons is they don't hit for a lot of damage on their individual hits, but they hit a lot. So that's that's kind of what you're banking off of there. So let's go find let's go find the yellow. Uh, what's a good word for Big Bird? We'll call him Big Bird. He's yellow. Yeah, there we go. So now he's always going to be up this way. Um, so if you're just starting the game out and uh, you don't want to, fin you know, while well, you don't want to spend a lot of time finding him, or you don't remember where he's going to be, he's always going to be up here, or he's usually always up here. And this is going to be the one time they changed it on me, and me looking like I'm going to look like an idiot because they changed it. They changed it. Okay. Um, all right. So he hasn't started. Oh, nope, there he is. I see his orange head. So we'll go up. We'll draw. We'll spin in. Oh, he's angry. Okay. Broke apart. Now this is where you want to do your big combos. Spin into him. Get out of his way. Let's turn that off. Flinched him again. Let's see if I can break his tail. Nope. Okay. Oh, he's down again. And he's dead. So, right on his hind leg, or left or right, doesn't really matter. Uh, right on their hind leg, that's usually where you want to be. It's a pretty good spot. And you can really bring down monsters pretty quickly, or at least do a serious amount of damage, um, if you can keep avoiding their attacks. Because if you get hit by them, obviously, you know, it knocks you over, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so if you can avoid them, you know, that's obviously better. And you have more time to attack. So that is the dual blades, not only in the training area, showing you their move pool, and that is the dual blades in action, fighting a great Jagras, which didn't live very long because the ones that I'm using are the engine at three and they just beat the hell out of everything so there is that to consider uh, but the defender weapons are good um, until you start getting to probably the end of low rank and then you'll probably need to start upgrading and farming for something else uh, but the defender weapons will get you most of the way through uh, the low rank stuff until you hit probably Rathian Diabolos area because Rathian Diabolos will just eat you alive so be aware of that but there you go um, I hope this helps somebody out uh, if you have any questions or comments about something that I forgot please leave it in the comments um, I didn't explain about weapon elements, but I will do that in my overall weapon guide that will come at the end of this series. So uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in another video.